The Fruits of Sanctification, September 4 Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 Through Jesus, the fallen sons of Adam became sons of God. Both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. The Christian's life should be one of faith, of victory, and joy in God. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Truly spake God's servant Nehemiah, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And Paul says, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Such are the fruits of Bible conversion and sanctification. His, the truly righteous man's nature, is so thoroughly imbued with love for God and his fellow men that he works the works of Christ with a willing heart. All who come within the sphere of his influence perceive the beauty and fragrance of his Christian life while he himself is unconscious of it, for it is in harmony with his habits and inclinations. He prays for divine light and loves to walk in that light. It is his meat and drink to do the will of his heavenly Father. His life is hid with Christ in God, yet he does not boast of this, nor seem conscious of it. God smiles upon the humble and lowly ones who follow closely in the footsteps of the Master. Angels are attracted to them and love to linger about their path. They may be passed by as unworthy of notice by those who claim exalted attainments and who delight in making prominent their good works. But heavenly angels bend lovingly over them and are as a wall of fire round about them. To man is granted the privilege of becoming an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ.